So in this example, we are going to be finding the area of the triangle. So we know that there are uh, formulas for area of a triangle, one being one half base times height, but we know um, that in these examples, we don't have the height of the triangle. Um, we also saw a different formula um, when we were studying law of sines, um, but that formula required knowing one of the angles. So there's a couple options. You could just use law of uh, cosines, um, and you could find one of the angles and then use um, the previous uh, area formula that we did. But that, was, that would require using two different formulas. Instead, there's another option. There is a formula um, to find the area of a triangle that only requires knowing the sides. It's called Heron, Heron's area formula. All right, and this is the formula. We have the square root of s, that's not a five, that's s times um, s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. a, b, and c are all sides. And then s, what s represents, is this other formula, a plus b plus c, so all three sides added and then divided by two. So it's almost the average because if it were the average, we'd divide by three, but we're dividing by two. So let's go ahead and use the formula and the information given to find the area of this triangle. So I see that in my formula, I need to use S. So let's go ahead and figure out what the value of S is going to be uh, in this specific uh, scenario. So A plus B plus C, I have 43 plus 53 plus 72, all divided by 2. So we're going to get 168 divided by 2, and that gives us 84. So S is the value 84. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in here. Next, I'm going to have 84 minus A. And A is 43. I'm going to have 84 minus side B, which is 53. And then 84 minus side C, which is 72. And remember, that is all under the square root. All right, so let's go ahead and see uh, what that gives us in the calculator. All right, so I'm going to do second square root. And we have 84 times 84 minus 43. Close parentheses times 84. Now I'm going to subtract side B, which is 53. And my last one, I'm going to do 84 minus side C, which is 72. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, so once again, we know that when we square root something, we have plus or minus, but if we're looking for the area of something, we do not want the negative value, so we're only going to consider the positive value. So the area of this triangle is approximately 1,131.9, and our, our uh, unit is meters. Um, so don't forget any time that you are looking for area, we want to square the unit. So that is the approximate area of this triangle.